Next up, we've got the 4500 series, which is Sparkle Lesson, Hot Rod Sparkles, and Cosmic Sparkle Colors. What I'm doing, guys, I'm spraying some Sparkle Lesson Mango here, and I'm giving you three scenarios. We've got bright white, we've got a tinted base coat sealer, the, the, the tint that I showed you earlier, which was the bright white, tinted with flame orange, and on the left hand side, we've got complete flame orange. Guys, if I'm doing a small area, a crash helmet, I'll go for maximum brightness. I'll just shoot this stuff straight over white. However, on a bigger scale, I really don't want to shoot the spark lessons over white. It's going to take an awful lot of paint. It's going to be very, very difficult to apply. When you see this in the sunlight, the first two panels are almost indistinguishable. However, if I was doing a large SUV, I could save at least a quart of paint by putting it over a tinted sealer. This is a panel just 50-50, base coat sealer dark and base coat sealer white, and now I'm going to use Hot Rod Sparkle White. Guys, Hot Rod Sparkle White has got more uses than a Swiss Army knife. What I'm doing is I'm putting it straight over these tinters. You can see it's barely recognizable, you can hardly even see anything there. Second coat comes in, very, very potent. It really takes UV light to interact, and when you see this stuff in the sunlight, it's absolutely insane. That's just two super, super light coats of Hot Rod Sparkle White. Now the Hot Rod Sparkle White has an unusual characteristic and by that what I mean is it doesn't sparkle white, it reflects its environment. Do you remember that basic guitar we did earlier, that humble graphic guitar with the semi-opaques and transparents? Here I'm just putting one, only one light coat of Hot Rod Sparkle White over the top and you can see it completely interacting with the ground coats in the sunlight. Another thing that people don't really experiment enough with is the fact that the Hot Rod Sparkles are completely mixable. Here I'm just mixing 50-50 Hot Rod Sparkle Blue and Hot Rod Sparkle Purple. Do you remember that panel we did earlier, the Iridescent Purple and Fuchsia? Again guys, I'm putting one or two just super light coats of my 50-50 Hot Rod Sparkle mix in. And when this thing's clear coated in the sunlight, you can see the interaction. You don't have to just lay down a blue or a purple or a green, just mix them together for extra effects. Here, I've marbleized iridescent bright blue, and I've put it over black with just one coat of Hot Rod Sparkle Blue. 